Hi, I'm Corinne Johnston. This is for Family 150, Intro to Marriage and Family Studies. This is my second career profile, and the job that I thought would be interesting is a community organizer. I wasn't sure exactly what this was, so I looked it up, and it looked like something that I would love to do. It is helping um, communities come together, whether they're organizations or anything for the community, and helping certain people in the community to move forward with their lives. So this organization that I found, there was a job opening for um, the organization called GGE, meaning Girls for Gender Equity. And um, what I wrote is, this is an organization that helps girls and women learn their capacities and learn what they can do to be healthy, strong, and know what they can do in their community to become involved and support themselves. This what this um, website unfortunately didn't have a phone number, but they wanted to communicate only through email. I'm sure if you emailed, you could get a number that you could talk to someone through. And this job is located in New York City, New York. Uh, once again, the career contact you would have to email them. And the email is jns at ggenyc.org. And I personally don't know anyone in this career, but it did look like something interesting where you would be able to help people, which is something that I would love to do. In this environment, or in this um, job, their, the working environment would include, this is what I wrote, this is a large organization in which different communities can be involved and have this organization, organization in their own town or city. The person will be working with staff, interns, and volunteers. And with this assignment, this job is kind of the head over the whole organization, you will be delegating, assigning, and evalu evaluating the people you work with. You will also be working with women and girls who need help correcting their lives who may become who may come from a variety of backgrounds. So you kind of have to keep your mind open in the this atmosphere that you may be working in and knowing that you will be helping people. Some stressors that I could see that could come from this job would be working with people, managing others' work, traveling outside the state, as it said that may be required occasionally represent the agency, um, organize and present curriculum, design major campaigns, monitor and evaluate programs, and living in New York, which to me, that would be a big stress. Typical benefits. Now, unfortunately, this website did not say exactly what benefits would come with working in this job, but I would assume that there would be the typical benefits of any other job, including 401k retirement, and health insurance, you know, the typical, but I suppose you would have to call or find their number and call and figure out what the rest of the benefits would be. Now the job tasks, there were a variety and so many job ta tasks, so I'll just go through and read those quickly. These are taken directly from the website. Interest in being part of learning, environment, and supervising interns desire for and comfort with young people and taking the lead. You must be able to motivate youth and support youth self-determination, but also make sure that they can enforce their own accountability and understand what accountability is. Um, being flexible and willing to grow in response to youth needs or changes in the field. Um, being a, able to work as part of a diverse team, including a various experience of race, sexuality, gender, ability, or age, excellent ability to plan and organize, understand how to create and carry out logic models and work plans, outstanding computer skills, and knowledge of and experience working in the New York City public schools would be something that they would like. Um, the list continues. Excellent community organization skills. Um, bring inspirational presence reliable leadership and enthusiasm enthusiasm for G GE's mission and vision to community meetings task forces and other strategic sites excellent individual and group communication skills strong program planning and evaluation skills ability to handle a variety of projects and assignments at once 
with attention to detail, excellent time management, ability to effectively communicate and build relationships with many um, different people who are in the organization, ability to work both independently as in a team member, ability to apply creative and critical thinking to improve existing programming, and um, once again, familiarity with the New York City public school system is something that they would prefer. The education requirements, a uh, sorry, a master's degree is required in related fields such as in social work, mental health, or something related to that, and three years of experience in community organization. Um, there are two certifications, certifications that would be desired, including the SIFI and the MSW. They're both desired but not required. Uh, this website did not say exactly the starting salary range or the ending salary range, but I was able to find them on a different website. The starting salary range would be around 27000 and experience would be around 49000 Some miscellaneous career information. Um, you must be willing to sign on for at least two years for this job, and it is good to know that you will be working in a, a community where there are many different races, ethnic, ethnicities and it's just good to remember that and the variety of people you'll be working with. And the information source I was able to get at www.movetoendviolence.org and that is where this job application was available. Thanks.